Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. And here we have three times of x plus three times of two times of x. Here you see that x is multiplied by three times, and here x is multiplied by two times, and its sum equals to 36. So we find the value of x in this problem. So now here the very first thing we are going to do is you see here x is multiplied by three times and we write it as into the exponential form and it is written as x cubed plus similarly we write this uh, x is multiplied by two times and we write it as x square equals to 36 and now in the next step here we need to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have 36 and we write this 36 as 27 plus 9 we know that 27 plus 9 equals 36 and uh, now we again write this 27 and 9 into the exponent uh, into the uh, prime factors form so we write this 27 as 3 cubed and we write this 9 as 3 squared so now we move these two terms in the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed minus 3 cubed because this is plus 3 cubed when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 cube and this is plus x square so when we move this plus 3 square it will becomes minus 3 square and this whole equals to 0. So further in the next step uh, here we need to combine uh, these two we need to make the pair of cubic term and the square term as well and it will be written as 3 cube x cubed minus 3 cubed and plus uh, x square minus 3 square and this is equals to 0. So further you see here uh, we need to apply the cubic formula uh, and the squared formula uh, in the second uh, second factor. So here we know that if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. Similarly in the second case we know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a square a minus b times of a plus b okay so now uh, in the next step uh, we uh, apply these two formulas in the above equation so that our above equation is written as first we apply the cubic formula so above equation will becomes x minus 3 times of x square plus 3x plus 3 square and plus here we apply the square formula and it will be written as x minus 3 into x plus 3 equals to 0. So now further uh, here you see that uh, x minus 3 be the common term so that we take common x minus 3 and the remaining terms are x square plus 3x plus 3 square equals to 9 and when we take common this x minus 3 then it will be written as x plus 3 equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, you see here uh, we need some simplification and we write it as x minus 3 into x square so this is 3x plus x becomes here 4x and 9 plus 3 becomes 12 and this whole equals to 0. So in the next step here uh, we need to uh, convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take x minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x square plus 4x plus 12 equals to 0. So in this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 3. So this is the, our first real solution of the above equation. And now in order to find the other roots, we need to solve this quadratic equation so that uh, here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 12. So these are the coefficients of the above equation and we know about the quadratic formula. It is stated as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the over uh, 
quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as x equals minus b so the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so now this implies that we have x equals to uh, minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 12 equals to 48 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step here we need more simplification and we write it as x equals to minus 4 plus minus uh, square root of when you subtract uh, 16 minus 48 then you get here minus 32 because 16 minus 48 becomes minus 32 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we need uh, more simplifications and we write it as minus 4 plus minus. Here you see that we have negative sign becomes inside the square root and we have 32. So we first uh, separate these two uh, values and we write it as 32 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So further uh, we need to focus on this square root of 32 and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus. Uh, we write this 32 as 16 times of 2. We know that 16 times of 2 becomes 32 and here you have the square root of minus 1 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. And further uh, here we need to separate the square root on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 into square root of 2 and iota and we break this fraction and we write these two separately on both of these terms so further uh, you see here uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as x equals to these are cancelled by each other and we get minus 2 plus minus we know that square root of 16 equals to 4 into square root of 2 and it is divided by 2 and iota so you see that this 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we obtain x equals minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 2 into iota so here you see that we need to take common 2 and we obtain minus 1 plus minus square root of 2 into iota so these are the other two complex values of the given equation so because our given equation is cubic equation it means that given equation has three roots so the three roots of the given equation are these so one is the real root and two are the complex root this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos